Congested cities across the country have rolled out bike share programs as a sustainable answer to the issue. Bixie Bikes arrived in Toronto and Montreal to great fanfare, but it's been no smooth ride. The city of Toronto had to step in and rename its bike share service. And in Montreal, some wonder if the Bixie is even worth bailing out. Billy Shields reports. With its notorious traffic and congestion, many Montrealers like to use the Bixie bike service. Even tourists like these use the bicycles. It was easy, but I have to read a lot. Yet there are signs that city dwellers are ditching Bixie. Ridership is stagnating. And now, six years in, the service seems like it's in a bit of a bind. And unlocking it may not be so easy. The city has spent at least $24 million to support the program in hopes it would become a green alternative for commuters. Saddled with $44 million in debt, Bixie filed for bankruptcy in January. This season, Mayor Zinni Coderre told Montrealers that... If you truly believe in Bixie, you got to make sure that you show me that love. And while people in Montreal use this system, it's struggling to stay on track. They were told Bixie would be largely self-sustaining with the local service subsidized by international sales. They were shocked to hear that everything wasn't as it was supposed to be. Montreal is not the only city dealing with a bike share boondoggle either. In cities across North America and elsewhere, Financial struggles are raining on what would otherwise be a fine ride. While in Montreal, Bixie officials say that inclement weather and uncertainty has affected ridership, they've put their best pedal forward. We're at over 90% of what we were last year. For us, that's a major accomplishment. Others are less enthused. The question about for Bixie's identity is, is this really a downtown core, kind of a cutesy, touristy season initiative? Or is this really a mode of transportation? Montreal officials want a better look at the financials before they commit more money to the service. They've already put in $5 million this year to keep it rolling. Billy Shields, Global News, Montreal.